Hi, Mr. Gilbert here, and we're going to start off with a little review before we get into our new information. We're going to review target three and four, and then do target five and six. So remember, you got to be able to describe how altitude affects air pressure in the troposphere. You know, think about what happens as you get higher and higher up away from the surface of the earth. How does that affect air pressure? Um, and then target four, describe how temperature affects air pressure and movement of air in the troposphere. In other words, when air is heated, what does it do? When air is cooled, what does it do? Okay, and think about it. If you have air that is leaving the surface, what type of pressure will that cause? High pressure or low pressure? Got to mentally be thinking of that before we get to the new info. And here's the new info. We're going to learn to draw and describe how high and low pressure areas occur on Earth's surface and to find wind and say why wind moves at different speeds. Get your journal out. These would be great things to put in there. Let's start. Hey, low air pressure is where there's not a lot of air molecules. Hey, in my picture here, why aren't there a lot of air molecules here at the surface? Why is there low pressure? Because for some reason, air is rising and leaving the surface. That's awesome. Air tends to be moving inwards and then up at low pressure areas, up away from the surface, giving us low pressure. Of course, high pressure is quite the opposite. Um, it's where there's a lot of air molecules on the surface. This black line is the surface of the earth. We have cooler, dry air usually sinking. And as it sinks, it starts piling up <clears throat> on the air here, excuse me, and then moving away. So this would be considered high pressure on the surface. Just for the future, up here where the air is sinking, at altitude would be low pressure at altitude, but we're going to concentrate on the Earth for now. Okay, so let's check this out in three dimensions. Okay, here's the Earth. We have an area of high pressure and low pressure. And for some reason, which we're going to find out later, air moves from high to low pressure. So you're going to get air moving here. And why do we have high pressure? Because air descends from altitude to create a high pressure system on earth why do we have low pressure areas on earth's surface because the air for some reason is leaving the earth's surface so oh my goodness look at what we're basically starting to get we're starting to get a three-dimensional air current convection cell where you have air descending creating high pressure on earth air moving from high towards lower pressure and for some reason, probably because it's getting warmed, the air is leaving the Earth's surface, creating this beautiful convection cell. Oh, yeah. So what is wind? Hey, it's the movement of those air molecules from high to low pressure. The greater the pressure differences, the stronger the wind. So on the Earth's surface, or even off the Earth's surface, we will notice wind wants to move from high to low pressure. The greater the difference, the faster the wind moves. And usually it tends to be faster as it is getting sucked into a low. So let's see what we know so far. Place the high and low pressures here. Um, here we have land. Land's getting heated up. It's a darker color than the ocean. So as you heat up air on the surface, it tends to leave, therefore making low pressure. Cruises around. Okay, cools and sinks where we have sinking air we get high pressure this is on the surface now we would have the opposite of these in the atmosphere creating a big beautiful convection cell and at night things are a little different at night okay air over the land cools down because the ground cools down faster we get high pressure and low pressure over the sea because it's still warmer so i could even put in our circles up there Big shout out to the uh, picture. Um, and so if you want to see that written again, okay, of course, warm air rises. You know, it heats up by the land. Okay, warm air rises. What type of pressure are we going to get? Low. Okay, cruises up, forms clouds, moves, cools down, and cools and sinks, forming what type of pressure? High pressure over here. And then that high pressure is going to be moving or sucking back into low pressure, creating what's called a sea breeze. So, you should be able to successfully draw and describe how Earth's high and low pressure systems are and define wind. I hope you can do that. If not, rewatch the video.